What up everyone, so my name is Mike, you guys are watching Mr. Mike 12,000 and in this episode I'm going to be talking about the brand new iOS 9, some of the key features that I love about it, and some of the things that you should look out for when downloading it. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. So one of the first things that I stumbled across when downloading iOS 9 was when I was sitting on my home screen I swiped to the left, and when I did I found all these great features that Apple has given to us. So I'm going to get through these as quick and efficiently as I could so you guys can go get your hands on this and see it for yourself. Um, so we got Siri Suggestions. Um, there's two different categories in Siri Suggestions. The first one, uh, it compiles a list of your most recent individuals that you have either text or called, put them into a simple list so you can have quick, easy access to them. Right under that is your most recent apps that you have used or apps that Siri is suggesting, suggesting that you open up soon. Also right under that, we have Nearby now. Now, something that is going to be key in iOS 9, which I think is um, going to help a lot of individuals, is this nearby. So if you're in an area uh, or a location that you are not familiar with, it's an unknown location or you are on a road trip and you got to find something to eat, um, you could simply just go to nearby. You could hit either uh, dinner, bars, shopping, or gas. Now when you hit this, it is going to open up the maps of Apple and it is going to give you a list of the best places near you or the closest, whatever you may choose. Also right under that we have news. Uh, the latest and breaking news. Um, that you guys should know about, uh, Apple has given to us right there. So that's uh, that's just one key feature that I love about the brand new iOS 9. And there's a ton more, but I'm only going to limit this to a few. But that is the first one. All right, so the second thing that I love about iOS 9 is the brand new Maps app. So you're probably wondering, what else could they really do with Maps? Let me show you. So when you open up the application for Maps, you are greeted with, obviously, the map. Um, now, something I want to point out is, okay, so as you can see, this is Philadelphia, but if you go into the bottom right-hand corner where the eye is, you have a bunch of different options now, and I'm going to hit show traffic. When I hit show traffic, it shows me all the backups or closed roads around me, which is key because you don't want to be sitting in that traffic when you could be home watching that television show that starts at 8 o'clock at night. You know what I mean? So uh, this is a big help. Um, it shows you all the road closing, all the traffic, where it is. Um, heavy traffic is indicated by red, um, and light traffic is indicated by orange, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it is. Um, something else that I do really want to point out about um, Apple Maps is simply when you hit the search button. Uh, it says search for places and address. When you hit that, all these different options come up. Food, drink, shopping, travel, service, fun, health, transport, and then your uh, recent locations. Now this is cool because um, it gives you a bunch of different stuff if you want to go do stuff. Uh, for instance, for fun, it shows you all the cool things that you could do around your area, which is awesome. But this is cool that Apple has added this in. This is basically like the thing I just talked about. So I'm not going to go too much into depth with it, but it is cool that they are adding all these different features for us to do, uh, different activities that we could do, see, eat, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that is just another feature that I love about the brand new iOS 9. Also, um, one of the last features that I do want to talk about before going into uh, telling you guys what you should look out for when downloading the brand new software is Notes. So when you go into Notes, as you can see, it is a brand new notepad. Um, it will ask for you to upgrade your notes. Um, this is simply just allowing iOS to tell you that, okay, we have upgraded the notes. This is what is going to happen when you upgrade it. So when you hit upgrade, um, in the bottom right hand corner, when you go to edit a note, um, you got a bunch of different options. Add a title, heading, body, bulleted list, uh, dashed list, numbered list. Also, you could add a photo to your notes now. This is something new that I think that could be helpful um, if you are planning either a trip or anything that you want to put in your notes. Also right next to it, you can actually draw in your notes now. So if you have to scribble a little photo now, you have quick, easy access to that and it's super easy, super helpful. So that's another thing that I love about iOS 9. Now something that you guys should be aware of when downloading iOS 9 is it has a bunch of uh, hidden features, but I'm not telling you all the features yet. I'm just telling you the top three. If you want to see more features, please uh, give this video a big thumbs up and I will make that video ASAP for you guys. And let me know in the comments if you have downloaded iOS 9, which one or which features uh, you guys like the best. Um, so because I'm still getting a feel for it, I just downloaded it. So something that you guys should know about iOS 9 um, when downloading it is when you go to settings, 
uh, you will see that there is a brand new option now for battery. So when you hit battery, you are going to see low power mode. So basically, I'm going to summarize what low power mode is. Low power mode, um, the gist of it is basically it's going to reduce all your other apps. Your mail, it's uh, background app refresh, your downloads, it's gonna, it's gonna minimize all of them. So um, basically what it's doing is when you go into low power mode, it actually gives your phone an extra hour of battery as they say. So we will see what happens with that. I don't know how well that actually does work, um, but Apple is saying that they do give your phone um, an extra hour of battery. So if you are, I don't know, at a party, you're at 20% and your phone's gonna die. You could simply just switch on to low power mode by going to settings, battery, and hitting low power mode, and it will give you an extra juice of energy by lowering all the activity of the other apps. And I think this is a cool concept because um, a lot of people are struggling to find an outlet to charge their phone, struggling to find a battery pack to plug their phone into so they could charge it, purchase it on Amazon, whatever the case may be. But with this low power mode, it's going to save a ton of us from struggling to find that outlet, getting that battery case. Um, I think it's just a big advantage that Apple users are really going to take advantage of and I'm happy that we have that now due to Apple. So that's all I really wanted to talk about today guys. Um, I know I've been rambling a little, I'm sorry. If you have not yet, I released a video the other day about the brand new Snapchat filters that are amazing, are blowing up the internet. I want you guys to check that video out. The link is in the description box below. It will also be at the end of this video. You can simply just tap on the screen. It will take you to the link right directly to that video. And yeah, so if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about the brand new iOS 9 or any of my videos in particular, please leave them in the comments box below. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to Mr. Right 12,000 for the greatest and latest updates, blogs, and reviews. I'm out, guys. See you in my next video. This has been Mr. Mike 12,000, and I am out. Peace. Have a good one. Tap on your tap on your face like you're taking a selfie and see what happens. So I downloaded the update. I wanted to check it out for myself and. <clears throat>